Hello there guys, for today's video, I'm going to show you how to finalize bulky photos in Photoshop. And also, we will dive deeper into duplicating layers, applying maximum blur on our image, masking our subject, using the camera raw filter, applying and adjusting blend modes of some layers. So let's get started. So here in our document, I got here a photo that is already applied with a bulky effect. And our goal here is to finalize this one by adjusting for the bulky effect to be vibrant. So the first step we're going to do here is we're going to duplicate our background layer. So to do that, going onto the layers panel, click on the background layer, press control plus J. And we're going to name this one as background. And then we're going to mask our subject first. So to do that, select it on the background layer. Yes, the copy, the new copy, the new layer. I'm going to select on that. And then I'm going to the menu bar, go to select and choose subject. And Photoshop will automatically create a selection on our subject. So I do this for our subject not to be applied with some new effects. Okay, but if there are parts that are selected here, I'm just going to click on the quick selection tool on the toolbar here. Just click on this, put this one to minus, and then remove this selection. On this part. All right, there you go. Uh, with this selection, I'm going to press Control plus J to extract our subject to the background. So when I did that, look at that. So I already have this image, see? Okay. And the next step here is we're going to select on the background. And by the way, if you find this video helpful so far, please consider subscribing to help YouTube algorithm show my videos to other nerds like us. Going back to the background layer selected. Now I'm going to the menu bar and I'm going to click on filter. Under filter, choose others. And then from others, choose maximum. All right, so when I click that, you can see that there are already changes in our image where you know you'll notice that the bulky shape from behind got look vibrant, all right? So we can also adjust the radius from uh, on how big the bulky shapes you want to adjust, okay? All right, so for now, I'm going to put this one to 25, all right? So this one looks for me. I just selected enter. Okay, and you will notice here that our also subject is also applied with a bulky effect. Actually, that's not a light. So to remove that, I'm going to add a mask. So click on this, add a mask. And then I'm going to the toolbar, select on the brush tool. Make sure the foreground color is black. Opacity is okay, around 70. Okay, all right, this one is okay. And then I'll start painting to remove those effects on this. It's actually, it's just the, this light comes from the subject of its own. All right, so once done, the next step we're going to do here is we're going to create another duplicate layer of this background here. So I'm going to press Control plus J to create a new one. Okay, so there you go. And I'm this time I'm going to bring this layer on top of the subject layer. So yes, I chose this one. Okay, another thing, I'm going to change the blend mode of this layer to multiply. So select on, on this layer, click on this, and change the blend mode to multiply. And when I did that, you can see the image looks stunning, isn't it? And then the last thing is we're going to do the final touch. With this layer selected, the background copy, yes, this one, the one that we put on top of the subject, I'm going to select on that and go to the menu bar choose on filter, go to camera raw filter. And then under the camera raw filter, I'm going to the basics, click on this. And then for the for the clarity, I'm going to set this one into around <laughs> plus 15 for the dehaze plus 10. Okay. All right. And then also under effects, I'm going to the vignette. Okay, I'm going to decrease this one to negative 20. And then select. Okay. All right. There you go. So we already have this effect. 
Okay, now I mean I'll show you the before and after. So this one is the before, and this one is the after. And that is how to finalize a bulky photos in Photoshop.